The first knockout that was announced today for the ultimate ex at Hard to Kill is none other than the quintessential diva, Giselle Shaw, one of my favorite knockouts. I've said it before, and I'll say it now. This match is a huge opportunity for her to shine. I thought she was a, a good character in 2023, but she didn't win a lot. Uh, she she got a lot of really empty knockouts title uh, opportunities. And I say empty because there was no build, no um, no earning of the title shots. She just, she just got a couple just to do it. Uh, they threw her in, in matches that we just knew she was going to lose ahead of time. And they tend to do this with some of the, the stars who are there long term. You know, the ones you know probably aren't going anywhere. You know, they tend to they just tend to beat them and put the, you know, titles on people who are there short term. Not that's not every, you know, in every single case, obviously. Uh, but I would say that Giselle's spot is very secure there. And um they kind of book her as such. And it wasn't a it wasn't a big year for her from that standpoint. Uh, I've always really liked the Shaw Taraj. I, I you know, I I dig everything about um, her and her presentation, just not the the win loss record. And one thing I've said about her when she, well, I said this back when she they signed her. I said, yeah, she's got a move set. She's got a really special move set, and we haven't seen that. You know, the moves that she used, like on the indies and and everything, like she doesn't. You know, she did it in women of wrestling. Um, I think Defy is one of the. Maybe one of the companies she used to work a lot. Like we just didn't see that. And then her, you know, finisher is a running knee. I've talked endlessly about shit finishers in the company. Uh, you know, but she's, you know, she's got this corkscrew that she does off the top rope, man. I'm telling you, if she does that off the structure because we don't have anyone to do the Lady Frost spot this year. She does. Or corkscrew dive off that structure. Uh, that's going to be one of the memorable moments of the match, and she has a real opportunity to to shine here. You know, she's probably got a little more upper body strength than the other girls, so she could probably do more with the cables. She's athletic, and it, it, man, it, it's just her time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think she's going to win because she cannot at this point suffer another loss wrestling for the knockouts title, you know? Uh, so I, I don't think she's going to be the winner, but, you know, with with as many matches as she lost last year, especially towards the end of the year, this is a real opportunity to, you know, walk away from this thing and be the one that people are talking about. Kind of like people were talking about Lady Frost last time. She has an opportunity to be the one that they're like, yo, Giselle, Giselle Shaw killed it at Ultimate X. You know, maybe not to the point you you don't want to get her over too much, or it it necessitates a baby face change, but just something where we can look back and say, "Yo, man, she's this is going to be her year." You know what I'm saying? So, I think it's a good uh, good person to, to announce first. I was a little worried uh, who was going to be first because you cannot shit the bed on the number one announcement. You know, and typically they don't. I think back when they did the uh, digital media championship and the first match was like Zicky Dice versus I don't remember what it was. It was some complete throwaway match where right away to, told us, OK, this is a, a joke, this title. And, um, you know, I, I think you have announced one more serious competitors that has an opportunity to win it. And again, this is um, this is going to be a big year for her. You know, I know she wasn't the uh, one to watch for like Kylan King was in 2024, but. I would say she is she is one to watch, and she could really, really uh, establish herself in the knockouts division this year, and not just be uh, she. And she was kind of in that role, even as a heel, that Alicia Edwards was in for a long time, where we they were like, "Hey, we need someone to get a win. Let's throw Giselle Shaw in there," you know. So hopefully that's not what it is, but I expect a really good showing from her at this uh, Ultimate X at Hard to Kill.